Good morning, guys. Welcome to this 15 minute yoga session. My name is Becca. This class is suitable for all except for pregnant ladies. So if you're pregnant, then skip this one out and we'll do another session. You can bring your kids, you can bring your partners, the whole family is welcome. All you need is your body. So let's get started. You can take your feet down to the ground about hip distance apart or a little bit further apart. And then just look down at your toes for a second and spread them out. So see if you can make some gaps between your toes. And then press your feet into the ground. Look around you, make sure that you're not gonna hit a wall. We're gonna come into a twist like this. So make sure that you've got quite a big space around you. Okay, and then just starting to twist. So keep your eyes open, keep your head facing up. So try to resist temptation to kind of look down like this. It will only make you dizzy. And see if you can keep your knees facing forwards as well. So that the twist is really coming from the space around your belly. This is a great way to wake up the digestive system. So preparing your internal organs for breakfast. And it's also a really lovely way to relieve stress and tension from the body. It's really simple. If you just do this for a couple of minutes every day while you're making your cup of tea or coffee, then I think that you will start to notice the positive effects of the practice. Let your arms be relaxed so they can be really heavy and just let them slap to the sides of the body as you twist and then you can start to take this twist a bit deeper, maybe faster, or you can just see if you can go round a little bit more. Maybe bringing a little bounce into your knees as well as you twist. And then let's focus in on the breath. So it doesn't matter whether you're breathing through your nose or your mouth, just make sure that you are breathing nice and deep. So you can deepen the breath by really fully exhaling. So maybe when you exhale, you could breathe out of the mouth and make a sighing sound to make sure that all the breath comes out. Something like, <sighs> okay, just a few more rounds. We're going to slowly come out of this. So sigh your last, breaths out here and then slowly come back to stillness take a moment here close the eyes and just notice how your body feels after that this may be your only opportunity to really connect with your physical body today so check in with how it feels. Maybe you can feel some tingling sensations. Maybe the breath is a little bit deeper now, just from that one simple exercise. Okay, so let's invigorate the rest of the body. We're gonna do some dough in, which is some tapping techniques. So take your hands on top of your head, and then with the tips of your fingers, tap all over your skull. So you can tap like little raindrops all over the skull, waking up the head. Tap around the ears. Find areas that feel a little bit sore perhaps. So for me, just underneath the bony bit of my skull around the neck feels quite tender. So I'm gonna go in a bit harder there. Allow your shoulders to be relaxed and your wrists to be loose. So just a kind of floppy hand action here. And then you can turn those raindrop fingers into fists. And again, loose fists, loose wrists. Let your fists just pummel the top of the shoulders. So if you're feeling stressed at the moment, then you probably feel like you're carrying the weight of the world on those shoulders. They're probably a bit tender. See if you can relieve some of the buildup of tension and stress just by giving yourself a bit of a massage here. And at the same time, just breathe. The breath is great for relieving stress, especially taking deep exhalations. So it's big sighing breaths out. And then we're gonna come over to the chest and pummel around this area, waking up the lungs. Lung health is obviously really important at the moment. So really 
vigorous pummels around the lungs to wake them up, the sides of your rib cage, often an area that's kind of ignored. So give that a good pummel. You could make some Tarzan sounds. You could take some deep sighing breaths out of the mouth. And then come to the back. So take your fists as high up the back as they go. These two, two big muscles either side of the spine get pretty sore as well. So give that a good whack. Go gently if you need to. This is the kidney area and the kidneys can get really tired around winter. So go easy perhaps if they're feeling a bit tired and tender. And then start to take your fists down to your buttocks. And you can give the buttocks a good old pummel. They usually quite like that around the hips. The hips are always kind of tired, so let's wake them up. And then you can take the hands either side of one leg and just pummel all the way down that big thigh muscle down to the lower leg. Wake up the lower legs down to the feet and then back up again. And then the other side. Keep breathing as you move, as you pummel. So when you breathe deep, you're waking the body up from the inside out. And then this pummeling action is waking up the body from the outside in. So working with the inside and the outside of the body. Come to the tummy, wake it up a little bit. It's going to be doing some work soon when you eat your breakfast. Wake up the digestive system. And then let's come back to the lung space around the chest. And then let go. Okay, so shake it out. Come onto one foot, practice your balance. It's a big part of yoga. Or if the balance is off today, take the arms out wide, hold onto the belly or hold onto a wall. So just see which one works best for you. And then give one of your legs a good shake. See if you can shake all the way from the hip down to the toes. So shaking the flesh away from the bones. And you can come into these kind of karate kick style actions to give it a good old shake, invigorate, send the blood down to the toes, warm it up, and then other side. So just hang on a second, stay where you are, stay still. Notice the difference in both legs. So this leg feels really different now that I've shaken it out. Come to the other side and see if you can find some balance on both sides. Make sure that you're breathing. Again, feel free to hold on to a wall of your balances off today. Keep this simple. We're just invigorating and aiding the flow of blood into the leg, waking it up, waking up the muscles, the bones. Some karate kicks out to the side. And then come into your hips. Give your bottom a shake out. So give it a good old wiggle. Wake up the digestive system. You can twist, you can shake, you can bounce. Bring it up into the chest again, invigorating the lungs. If you feel silly, close the eyes. I don't feel silly at all, so I'm gonna keep them open. And then just let your shoulders relax so that you can shake into the chest and the upper back and get those arms moving as well. Oh. So as you move, you can shake into the whole body now. Maybe you could take some big sighing breaths out. <sighs> let go of frustration, let go of anger, let go of any stuck emotion in the body. Shaking is honestly the best way to get rid of any stuck emotion, no matter how good or bad it may be. Give your head a shake. And then come back to stillness. Close the eyes. Feel into your body. And just notice how the body feels. Maybe you can feel some tingling sensations. Maybe the body feels a little bit more alive now. If there's any stuck emotion left over, if you're still feeling a bit agitated, a bit stressed, a bit tired, let's take the fists together again. So interlace your fingers, open up the eyes, press your feet into the ground again, and a little bit of a bend in your knees. We're going to take a big breath in and take the fists up to the sky, stretching up the chest, opening up the space around the heart, around your armpits. Look up. Take another big breath in. 
And as you exhale, let the breath out of your mouth and then drop your fists down to the ground like this. <sighs> okay, let's come up again, press into the feet, lift up through the chest, big breath in. And then exhale down. <sighs> Let's do three more. Breathe in. If your breath is not quite as deep as this, then take it quicker. Just go with the flow of your breath. <sighs> Breathe in through the nostrils, if you can, otherwise through the mouth. And exhale out of the mouth. <sighs> Last one. Big breath in. Exhale out. <sighs> this time, stay down. So just take the hands to the floor. You can bend your knees as much as you need to do this. You could take your hands to your inner elbows if you prefer, or you could take your hands behind your back and then lift them up towards the sky. So you're opening up the chest. Choose the option that works best for you. Wherever you are, give your head a shake and just make sure that it's relaxed. So shake it yes, no, just gently. Press into your feet, and again, you can have your knees as bent as you like. If you've got backache, then bend the knees even more. And then see if you can breathe into the back here, so into that space where the kidneys are, just beneath where your rib cage stops. That's where the kidneys are. So see if you can take some big breaths into those two little organs that do so much to support us, especially at this time of year. When we're feeling tired, the kidney energy gets a bit depleted and vice versa. So it's nice to just bring the attention into that part of the body and give it some love through the breath. Deep breaths into the back. And then bend the knees as much as you need to so that you can take your palms down to the ground and walk your hands forwards and then drop down onto your knees, coming into a tabletop position. Your hands are directly underneath your shoulders and your fingers are spread out wide. We're gonna drop the belly down towards the ground and then lift up through your heart, lift the chin. Take a big breath in through the nose if you can. And as you exhale, tuck your imaginary tail between your legs and feel how the spine starts to curve all the way round until your chin connects to your chest. Take a breath out, again if you can through your nose, but don't worry if you can't. Breathe in, drop your belly and arch your back, look up. Breathe out and round your back, as simple as this. When you breathe in, you're making space for your lungs to breathe by stretching your heart open. When you exhale, you're blowing all of the breath out and you're making space so you're tucking the belly in towards your spine. So squeeze the navel towards your spine. This is called cat-cow and it's a really simple practice, but it's the best practice for your spine. I recommend this to all my clients and it's great for preventing spinal injuries. It helps to build up strength around the spine. It builds up flexibility around the spine. And it's called cat-cow, so we can bring some sounds into the practice. If you're practicing with kids, can we maybe make the sound of a cow when we arch the back? What sound does a cow make? And as we round the back, what sound does a cat make? Meow. Moving through cat-cow a few more times with sound. Otherwise, just see if you can keep your breath flowing deep. Allow it to be natural, you don't have to force the breath. Last one. Well done. This time, release your hips down to your heels. So drop your bottom as low towards the ground as it will go. If it doesn't go low, that doesn't matter. You can use some pillows underneath your head. Otherwise, if your forehead can touch the ground, then just let it drop. Walk your hands far in front of you if you can to make some space around the armpits and space around the chest so that you can breathe. And then take some deep breaths into your back body once again. Breathing in through the nostrils, perhaps. Breathing out to sigh, the breath out of the mouth. 
three more breaths. And then starting to slide or walk your hands up towards your knees so that you can come to sit in a kneeling position. Take a moment to close the eyes, relax your arms, relax your shoulders, relax the muscles of your face and take a big breath into your belly. A full sighing exhalation out of the mouth gently opening the eyes and we're ready to begin our day thank you for joining me i hope you have a wonderful day and perhaps i'll see you again tomorrow let me know if you have any questions bye for now